talk about practice on uh, Friday and Saturday, what was good, what, was, what wasn't yeah, good? Yeah, I mean, the energy level was really high. You know, we still uh, have a number of new guys. You know, it's, it's a fine line between being smart and, and uh, having that, you know, the energy that we need. And I think this week's going to be a little more vocal on, uh, on tying in the brain a little bit with some of the energy. Uh, it's always a fine line. I thought we were maybe a little bit eager to four shots. You know, we have a rating scale for our shots, one through five, and we didn't take a lot of fives. We had some guys that still want to, you know, show the coaches that they, uh, they have the ability to score. And we're going to need to slow it down a little bit and trust each other, make extra passes. Um, and then our screening's just been atrocious, and, and a lot of that's timing, which we can, we can kind of iron out today, slow down, and it's hard to set screens when everybody's running around so fast. So tempo and, and start heading a little bit on some screens. Is Marco practicing today? No. Um, is class or is it hurt? Or is it... Uh, he's got a wrist issue right now that we're waiting to find out. Okay. He's got a couple of tests this afternoon at four. Try to find out exactly what it is. Is it an MRI or is it just a test? Is it... uh, he'll have an MRI at four, I know, is one of them. Okay. Okay. Everybody else pretty much healthy? Yeah. 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 We're ready to go. What would, uh, has anybody stood out to you is kind of, you know, getting the system? I mean, I know it's really early, a couple mm -hmm. practices in, but. Yeah, uh, I don't know so much as standing out. Uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things as I look around, the guys that are back from last year uh, are pretty dialed in. They're a little bit ahead. Mm -hmm. Of everybody else, just they kind of knew what the unknown was of the initial practices. Uh, you know, nobody's really standing out. I, I think by the end of this week, we'll probably be able to start making some of them, having some of those discussions and, and seeing maybe who can get through the first six, seven practices. But right now, it's still a little bit early. I'm kind of eager as you are to find out who's who's ready to step up this week. You know. Mm -hmm. Asked what I was going to ask you, but conditioning-wise, out of everybody so far, are you are you pleased with where everybody's at in the first few days? Yeah, I think so. You know, we we watched a lot of the video from our practice setting, and you know, it gets two hours, two hours and fifteen minutes. We've only got twelve guys in practice, so there's a lot of reps, and we're asking them to do a lot. I think being able to maintain the intensity through uh, an entire possession kind of reared its head when you look at the film. You don't always notice it when you're watching it live, but then you watch, you know, guys being able to make multiple efforts and plays. It wasn't always there. We haven't talked a lot about it. Uh, I don't think that's a sign of conditioning. I just think it's it's more the early part of the season. You know, we're going to have to we're going to have to get better at finishing plays, uh, not only defensively, but offensively, just knowing it doesn't have to be a dagger, you know, and like a knockout punch to make it happen, but we might have to do the play after the play and then another play and be able to consistently do that to be successful. That's going to be one of our big things. And then, obviously, everything's coming in increments right now, but what's the main focus you guys are going to have this week in your practices? Uh, well, it's going to be, it's, a, it's kind of a fine line between uh, some execution for our offense. We're not throwing a bunch of things at our guys, but what we do throw at them, this year we're going to execute real well, you know, and we know what we want to do, so it's kind of a fine-tuning of some of the things we introduced Friday and Saturday. Uh, a big focal point is going to be on guarding the ball, you know, as simple as that sounds. If I'm guarding you on the perimeter, let's not get into all the science about how we're going to recover and rotate and do all that kind of stuff put ourselves in a, what we call a 9 -1 -1 situation where it's kind of a red alert at this point in the season because we don't want to get beat to begin with. So the focus is really going to be on if you've got somebody that has the ball, he's yours. And if you're an athlete, uh, then maybe use your length and your quickness to keep him from beating you. If you're a little bit slower on the perimeter, then you better take a step off. But whatever it is, we don't want to get ourselves in those positions where we're kind of getting wound up and getting in a high-risk situation. So before we start jumping into all kinds of defensive rotations, I think the focus this, this week is going to be on guarding the ball. Are you, have you guys gone with any scrimmage situations uh, during practice yet? No. It's just pretty much been all putting yeah. stuff in? Yeah, we've just got, you know, four or five hours under our belt. So mm -hmm. a little bit 
slower pace. Uh, but we're getting there. You know, the, those four freshmen that are sophomores now, you know, how valuable was it last year? that they, I mean, you really threw them to the fire. A lot of Brandon, Dakari, Jordan, J.O., you threw them to the fire. How, how is that going to help them this year? Well, I think, you know, it's repetitions, and anytime you can get experience, that takes you off the rookie list, you know, and you're, you become a guy that's played some more reps in a, in a, in a higher, uh, much more stressful situation. They were playing a lot of minutes in Pac-12 games and Pac-12 tournament. And anytime you can lock those minutes, it's great, but that, you know, that's not a sense of accomplishment or anything that you can count on. You have to continue to build off that. Those kids are still making mistakes. They're just not the same mistakes they made as, as freshmen. Uh, and the, the further along you can get down that learning curve, uh, you know, it becomes a lot more palatable for a coach and you can be successful.